morning, uh, Sami Bituku. <laughs> Sami. <laughs> that's how, ever since I had that name being mentioned by one Richard Onyonka, that's how I'll be calling you from now on, Gituku. So, Sami, uh, Gituku, good job. <laughs> All right, I hope you're doing well. I hope you have, a, have had a beautiful uh, day. Uh, yesterday, of course, the ups and downs, arguments, counter arguments, and all that happened, businesses, and uh, the worst loss of human life. Uh, I hope over and above that today, there's some sense of normalcy back uh, in your day to day, where we'll, or at least. It begins. So the week now officially begins. Uh, and today is Tuesday, so we have with us here Roberta Bobby. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I'm amazing. How are you? I'm okay, man. You gentlemen look so handsome. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we... So, so cute. <laughs> we are in the nini. We clean up nice. I hope Mambu and Mali yeah. talk as uh, yeah, we... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm happy. I feel good. Uh, I think I'm always... Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, someone asked me today, are you happy? And then I realized I'm always happy. And that's exactly how I answer them. Like, I'm always happy, though. Like, yeah, so I, I feel good. You should tell us the secret. <laughs> Because actually, what knows it? Every time I talk to you and I ask you how you are, you say I'm good, yeah, I'm happy, yeah, yeah. I, and I, I know you don't good. use those words lightly. Come on, you could be it manga. My yes. face can't even hide it. Yes. So yeah, I was thinking we need to be getting Sammy mm -hmm. coffee. Yes, Sammy. Me <laughs> come He has a ha -ha difficult morning. Yeah, so get yeah, yeah. Sammy is. Now my sweets. Sammy's panels, arguments and counter arguments. Uh, and uh, <laughs> imagine having to it's argue tough. in the morning. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Sami and Amuka who argue out the issue, <laughs> but he keeps a level head. That is what is most important. And, and he does it every. He Monday does a good Tuesday. job. Yeah, a very good job. <laughs> Sami! Good job, Sami. <laughs> CJ Atemo. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Very well. Almost. I told you I almost had it. You see, I had it on my trouser, but not my coat, but it's the same. <laughs> so at least great minds actually do things like it is an honor to be mentioned anywhere in the sphere of your mind. So at least to go to Sao. <laughs> yeah. And, and congrats, your daughter hit one year. <laughs> no, it's actually, it's something they call, uh, we knew that this idea could pronounce it to go. Goshogia, Goshogia Moana. Thank you very much. It's like it's a celebration. They call it literally swinging the baby. All right. Yeah. So you say, you, you celebrate uh, <laughs> you celebrate <laughs> by the baby is swung uh, in monetary or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more of the blessings, and uh, yes, we really appreciate the baby's uh, grandmother, one Shosho Grace, for always doing the most. She's named after yeah, yeah, both my mom and yeah. Oh. All right. That uh, yeah, Yara Ruth Wagari. All right. That's my baby's name. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's that to me. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, Mamba Ikosawa, um, <laughs> we must preface this once again by again giving honor back to CJ. <laughs> He's the brains behind this operation <laughs> right here. Uh, today I want to talk about something that is um, very sensitive that also Sami always talks about, uh, and it's all about uh, social media and love. Right, so basically, <laughs> this week by then there's been a lot of uh, news, especially about TikTok. The TikTok CEO was uh, uh, in uh, office in the U.S. Senate, I think, and it brought to the fore a lot of other discussions as well. Just, of course, the main uh, for the U.S. and uh, also Britain is because they are talking about <clears throat> um, spying. You know, right. just like you know, we we had our own case here of uh, Cambridge Analytica. Uh, but now they're talking about how, you know, when you say yes to terms and conditions uh, that probably up or even your fine print, there is like a loophole yeah. where, you know, the, the apps can, you know, spy on you. Of course, there is the, there is the, the do's and don'ts about, you know, how they use your data. You go and search for cars and all of a sudden all your YouTube ads are cut. I downloaded an app <laughs> just, just to test it. It was like a Forex trading app. All my YouTube ads are now that specific app. I was like, that's crazy. 
Anyway, but that's not what we're talking about. Today, we're going to talk about the role that social media plays basically in um, your relationship and what are the boundaries. Is this something that you need to talk about? If you look at uh, Utah, for example, they banned under 18s from uh, using social media unless their parents give consent. Now, I want to talk about that also and then uh, also talk about uh, your social media personality. And we'll start with Roberta. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, um, what do you think? Yeah. Do you think, and this question is, you, you have this most of the times when people are trolling you. You'll find that sometimes when somebody writes the meanest, saddest, ugliest thing about you, then you go to his page, for example, Apple, Father Christian. Yoni bio. Yeah. Picha I mean, I remember somebody said something so mean to me. And then uh, the pinned tweet on his page was there <coughs> his daughter. Like, oh welcome to the world. I will take care of you. But he's not taking care of his thumbs <laughs> as he tweets. So uh, on social media there is a danger of having two personalities. Yeah. How important is it to have a social media personality that after when you have your partner and your partner sees you, it's not false advertising. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking the days for being very, very honest in, on social media are gone. Because, Saizi, it's mostly uh, how capitalism is set up is that there's so much classism, racism, like there's always a divide where there's... A lot of isms. Yeah, there's some people who always feel like they're better than mm. others. Mm. And I feel like that comes very naturally with capitalism. So what most people are always trying to do is to one-up the other person. You want to look like you have the better car, you dress better, you look better. The other day I was just chilling and I asked myself, uh, if it were up to me, would I dress the way I show up to things, like to events, or if if I were like to dress like that. Yeah, because my mom is always, because I'm always in Crocs and sweats and T-shirts. <laughs> then I realized the real me, the real me is the socks and the Crocs and the T-shirts and the sweatpants. That's me, comfortable, feeling good, that's me. But I'm not going to show up like that to a ball or to a, a class, classy event. And then I realized that if it were up to me, like if I had the option, I would probably wear the sweatpants to such events as right. well. But then, because we have to make a, an appearance, because you have to appeal to someone else, because you have to show, whether you do it consciously, subconsciously, there's always that uh, feeling that tendency to always want to one up the other person to be seen as better or looking better so I'd say the days for being honest on social media are almost gone mm. when uh, I don't know if I can say Instagram when Instagram was just starting out and you'd post exactly what you're doing in real time without the filters started coming through without and when Facebook would ask yeah. you what are you doing what are you thinking say, Read the book. what <laughs> yeah. are you thinking yeah. yeah but these days it's it's like so much everything is like just an illusion because someone would see me uh, and I would post something briefly and as mama po inje agari amkuba ni take selfie alafu ni ten se wangu andudi ni ende pali and no one would ever ever know because <laughs> that's not what I'm showing you guys so umejekesha poko agari amkuba so msema tu ende tu mama inje agari wangu but that's what people do people yeah, do right. that all yeah. the time you know yeah. so and sometimes you you kind of um, what do you call it? It's it's not that you are. It's a is it called a white light when you? Yeah. It's not really. Yeah. Like uja uja sema outside. Just a picture. <laughs> I'm just I'm just standing next to this car. It's not that. I'm not saying it's, it's mine. Yeah. yeah. It's background. the background. <laughs> I just it's asked him to touch the, the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. I it's you who assumes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
judge you yeah or, or you just don't want to attract um you know the sort of hate because um you don't want to post that let's say i'm um, in maybe dubai. the bahamas <laughs> or, dubai, or maldives yeah um because uh, like they like like we say for TV, you always say you have four people are watching. Your boss, the audience, um, you, and yeah. your future boss. Yeah. So you don't want, <laughs> you don't want your boss to say, who would come And like when our teacher salary is now go Dubai. Yeah. 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 You don't want that, or, yeah. or you just don't want people's eyes on. You are more private. Is it is it a personality thing or yeah. a society thing? So what I realized when I was now just thinking about it mm. is that. It's not even about people, it's just about when it's real, you have nothing to prove. Mm. Like when it's your bands, you don't need to post it. Niyako. Niyako, niyako for real, una believe, sasa niyako. Maria kwanza nilipanda ndege, ata kukwa na ma camera phones hizo siku. But it was the best day of my life and I wish I could take pictures. And now that, na chai tu kwanesha that when it's, Beyond you, it's really, really grand. It's sometimes maybe you can't even believe it's happening to you, and you'd like to show off, whether subtly or maybe you want to show other people. Hey, that's money on the So I think it's just a capitalism thing, a classism thing, where one person is always trying to uh, one up the other person. It's so ingrained in us that it comes so naturally that ata sa hizi ukipitana na bestie yako mwenye uko na kitu unataka it will come so easy for you to say wacha nipigwe picha nayo but i promise you the day you're able to afford it uh one time twice thrice ten times it becomes so normal to you and so casual for you that it's not ata unataka ku protect it's just that it's now your normal it's your new normal it's your it's the new what's comfortable for you so i'd say that siku za social media ku kwa uh, honest are really, really gone. I don't think people should put much credibility on what they see online because we only post what we want people to see. We only post the good parts of things. We only post when we're feeling amazing, when we're happiest. And even when people are posting when they're crying, it's on cue or it's forced or it's <laughs> fake or it's a script. <laughs> or <laughs> I know what you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I, we had this discussion. I was telling Bobby CJ. <laughs> For the people who post when they're crying, and I have no, I mean, <laughs> freedom of expression. Right. But what if you're crying and posting, and then you realize at the end you are not recording? <laughs> so do you have to start again. Yeah. Well, you have to actually, now we'll cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> you will now cry. Yeah. You know, if you, if you actually have the time yeah. to record yourself crying, mm -hmm. you don't have something to cry about. Yes, 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 yes. You don't really have something to cry about. If mm -hmm. if you can move your focus from whatever hurt you mm -hmm. to go and record, to record, right? You're not hurt. Right. The day you will get hurt. <laughs> You will actually <laughs> seclude yourself. Because pain, pain suspends your normal way of thinking. Mm. Yeah. When you are in pain, you stop thinking normally and you stop acting normally. So when you still have the presence of mind to say there's a camera here, let me get it. <laughs> To get light. Oh, when you're fine. Oh, get man. everything. Make <laughs> light. Okay. Yeah, so we wake up ring light, we can record if you're like, okay, guys, I just want to say, um, yeah, I guess it's, and I think that is the the thing. That's why, like, even uh, the question you're asking today is that, is it is social media content, because this has happened before, is social media content enough grounds for you to break up with somebody? Is social media content enough grounds for you to break up with somebody? Because you can SMS on 2242 and the hashtag is daybreak. Is it enough grounds for you to end a relationship? And there can be various reasons. There is somebody, I heard this, some, uh, a story of this lady who got attracted to this man, and on his social media page, this guy was high flying, high rolling, you know, catching flights, not feelings, hashtag. <laughs> uh, you know, he was but always. God. Yeah, Nigod, hashtag Nigod. He was always on. We have the same 24 uh, hours. Different places. However. <laughs> <laughs> However, he wasn't, uh, she failed to notice that most of these videos, he wasn't in the videos. Uh, but of course, it's like somebody, you know how you can take a video of a certain place. Um, and when they started dating, he started coming up with excuses. Oh, you know, just help me out. You know, this, this, kuna hii person angoja. Ikitoka. Tutoka wae kuna dili na Ivana. Ikitoka. I will just help, let me use your car. Well, you know, my car is, hey, kuna hii dili na ngoja. Oh, suji, nini, nini. I've just ordered my Rolls Royce. It's coming. <laughs> but these guys, you see, here's my tracking number. 
And then she realized that it was all about, and it's like three, four years in. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. just a sweet talker. Um, so, Sijo, why do you think uh, that is? Because, like I was asking Bobby, because in the beginning, social media was like, oh, let's just, you know, and even before now, people actually started using it, like for... Marketing. Yeah, not marketing, like for evil. Like you could post your in this restaurant and you know mm. somebody shows up and shoots up the place. It's happened in the US. Uh, or you post you in this event and somebody shows up and confronts you there because you said you're in this event. Uh, you know, before that, do you think any of it, is it because it's very hard these days to tell be the line between the real and the fake that we're having these problems? Well, uh, I know that people have always had a pseudo personality over right. generations. The social media, as uh, we've talked about this before, it offers a platform mm. uh, for people now to showcase that the pseudo personalities are mostly stemming out of our insecurities and the need to be accepted, the need to be valued, the need to fit in. So even in the older days, people would use fake names, they would borrow clothes to go on a date. Mm. You know, I'm talking about 80s. <laughs> wow. I'm talking about way back in the 80s. They would, somebody would borrow a shirt and come and say, Willis, I love your coat, man. I'm going out with Roberta. Can I use your coat? Mm. That happened a lot uh, way back. Then uh, you'd get people who would borrow space, like, can I come and use your room? you know, because I'm hosting somebody. Mm. I don't have a place. Maybe we live in a house where there's no extra room, so I'll come. So people have always been doing that because there's the need to impress mm. um, and look a certain way. But I think that before, there was a little bit more of order to it because it was very intentional and directed somewhere. Right. Like, I want to impress Bobby. So you can understand my feelings around that. Uh, <laughs> I need to show up and um, I need to show up good, mm. you know, on my first date or something like that. But today, because we have a platform, that platform has now made us feel like everybody is Bobby in this case. Mm. We want to impress everybody. <clears throat> so we keep going more and more out of our way to impress people that we have no business impressing. They have no business with us. Um, they really don't care. It's more perception. <laughs> yeah, they really don't care at all. So it comes to the question that you asked uh, Bobby about, is it personality and society? But it is two. It is both of them. Mm. Um, there is what society will also just put there as an expectation on you, the pressure that comes in, you know, uh, peer pressure is really something that is real. Mm. But the part I would want to talk about that element of society is this. Who are your friends? See, if I'm posting, who are my friends? So if all my friends are rich, would I post because I bought a new phone? No. I wouldn't yeah. impress them. They would be, well, they'll look at you like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Funny. <laughs> yeah. So that's where now the societal issue comes in. That if all my people are at a certain level, then I seem to be going a little bit above them or I'm living their dream, then I need to post it so that they can see. It's what uh, Roberta talked about, you know, you want to one up the other people. So if nobody in your uh, circle has ever flown and you're flying, man, that's a big deal. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if the people around you own jets, you know, a brand, no way you're going like, to post okay. it. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, your Crazy. friend is a uh, owner of a ranch, you come into the ranch, they'll, they'll be wondering, what are you doing with all yeah. of these videos? Right. You know? So I think in that uh, aspect, then society does determine what we put out there. Because if we put out things to impress, then what impresses people? So what kind of people would those be to be impressed by the kind of things that we have? So it, it generally shows us who are in our lives. Mm. Um, if they're impressed by the fact that you travel to Dubai, it generally shows you who are in our lives. Mm -hmm. If you have people who own property in Dubai, you're not impressing them by the fact that you travel <laughs> to Dubai. <laughs> right. And that is where now the element of the authenticity comes in. Um, I think the more you get towards your self-actualization, the less you have to prove. Mm the less you have to prove. The initial is that we're coming from the places of our insecurities. And 
you want to fight for nearly everything. You right. struggle for nearly everything. You've got to prove a point. You have to uh, answer everybody that talks about you. You've mm. got to reply to everybody mm. who hates you. You've got to fight back everybody who tries to fight you. You get to a certain place and you realize it's more peaceful at the top. Yes. Mm. And you don't have to fight everybody. You don't have to uh, respond no, no, to every no. criticism. You don't have to do anything because you've moved from the level of insecurities. Mm. So generally it is at what stage are we in in our self-actualization? So it's not necessarily, um, when you say it like that, so it's not that I have moved, say, to another tax bracket. <laughs> it's no. that I have dealt with my insecurities in a place where wherever I am, I'm happy, I'm content, I don't feel I need to prove anything to anybody. Well, as you can get rich and still be insecure. Right. Yeah. Uh, you can actually be, your wealth could be as a result of your insecurities where you are trying to run away from the poverty that you had, <laughs> and then probably money is all you bring to the table. Mm. So if you don't have the money, you feel nobody will accept you or receive you. You have no other value, no personality, no brain, and no emotion. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's uh, sorry. No brain. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and so money becomes all. And right. that happens even with relationships, that yeah. you will find somebody is relating with you, but all they can bring is the money. Mm. And they know without the money, there's nobody to relate with over there. So that money becomes their security. So they have to keep getting more and more and more of that money. In fact, greed, greed is an aspect of our insecurities. Because mm. you keep on feeling like maybe the more I get, the more I will be accepted. And then you drive yourself into the place of loneliness um, because you will be hurting people on your way to wherever you are going. Uh, you will be cutting off people. You will be trying to buy off people. You will think that everybody could be paid. And when people are not moved by what you have gathered, you get even more upset and say, okay. maybe let me get more. And you keep going and going because there's a void on the inside. Mm. So there's that aspect that you can be very satisfied at any level. You can be satisfied with little. You can be satisfied with much. Now, the aspect of the personality is about whether, you know, I'm introverted, ambiverted, extroverted as well. Uh, there are people who just want to be out there. Mm -hmm. But even to the extrovert, well, it's, there's nobody who is absolutely extroverted. Right. We have measures of both that you will find somebody is extroverted around friends. But among strangers, they're nearly introverted. Mm. They're not extroverted everywhere. Uh, so we cannot completely uh, uh, bring out and say, you know, this is this person's personality <laughs> yeah. just by what they show on social media. Some of the people who are very loud on social media are very quiet. Yes. <laughs> private. That's where they let out stuff. Mm. And they will fool you. You'll meet them. You know, somebody will meet you and hope that you will shout to a baby. <laughs> They do always. <laughs> they greet me with such enthusiasm. What are they? And I'm like, hi. And they're like, hi. You can with see the, the disappointment. Energy. In their face. <laughs> yeah. So, but more and more, uh, more and more, we need to be dealing with bringing ourselves to the place of comfort mm. and authenticity. I went off at some point. I went off uh, one of my main social media handles. I went off for over three months. Right. And I will tell you the truth. It's not that people are missing me. Mm -hmm. You'll fool yourself to live your life for people. Mm. They get used to it in a moment and they'll mm. be moving on to the next thing. So you'll be waking up every day feeling like I need to post, I need to put this for these people, mm. I need to show up, I need another photo, they need another video. <laughs> Let me tell you, you fall sick, you die, you leave, whatever. They'll miss you for two days they will shift to the next person. Yeah. And then you start getting upset. Uh, that's why this other gentleman was talking about, he went into depression. Right. After entertaining people during COVID, you know, the um, making so much money with a club on Insta. Ah, uh, right, yes. You remember? Yes, club COVID. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, and after hitting all those heights, then he goes into depression. It shows you how unreal that world is. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and now that it is... Um and real, I guess, apart from reverse image search, <laughs> how do you tell, how do you, how do you go there and spot that this person, this is not really who they are? Is there moments you can kind of <coughs> pick something out that tells you, wait, I mean, this person, this is a smoke screen? Uh, something I try to do for myself is be very intentional with what I consume. 
And I'd say that everyone, this is something everyone should start doing. I mean, first of all, follow things that are in alignment with the things that you believe in, things that you want in your life, things that you want to project for yourself, manifest for yourself, things that have meaning for you. So, kama when you say wa is my life fake, of course utakuwa follower wa sio kwa hivyo juu ndo anakupea pressure because otherwise where else are you seeing <laughs> where else are you seeing all these things being posted? It's right. just the things that you consume because I can tell you for sure my for you pages do not have all those things. I follow people I know either personally or people I trust, people I've actually met, people I'm acquainted with. I take everything with a pinch of salt even then because I know even me honestly and you've asked me this question here before uh mbona ni si post but hakuna mtata post ale analia sale rent haijalipwa na unatumia stove na siji maftata lakini sasa zile umebuy sale umebuy solar panels na you you will post when you have a nice beautiful house you'll always want people to know and uh Something that happened to me actually is it's like a light bulb, bulb went off. I realized that if I wanted to become the person I I want to become, the person I envision in my mind for myself is I had to accept who I really am. With my flaws, my shortcomings, with my brokenness, with my everything, my scars, my everything that I felt was not beautiful about me. I just had to accept myself so that I could also stop lying about things because if you don't believe in yourself and you don't love yourself as you are, naweza kupiga story ni kwambie na ishirunda alafu jio nini na tunashinda nikisema ni te bike yangu ni rudi kibra na how to why you are because if I can keep up the appearance if you go through my Instagram you might believe what because I there are just people who actually you. do that you know yeah. people actually wake up go to a somewhere showroom, else to take a picture take a picture mm. d- they do that people plan around uh, content creation they they book uh, apartments they book hotels they take pictures what six months mm. I'm a plan like you know job yake alafu wewe umekaa mali uko ume umepiga kazi umefanya your best and you're stressed about someone who's yeah. faking everything or uh something else people don't know is that famous and rich people they get a lot of things for free when you're popular when people know you they like you they give you a lot of things for free so wewe unaweza kuwa stressed about mtu ameshinda kenda vacations but hali pizo vacations zote ziko sponsored by CG which company what so you have to be very intentional with what you consume curate um social media your social media pages for yourself in a way that it enriches you in the things you want mm. it could be maybe you want to see those nice cars that's okay but what are you following are you following uh the liar who takes his dad's car or are you following someone who has more credibility you've seen them grow you or understand the, actual the story page of the car you want or the actual follow yeah. Rolls Royce follow Benz follow, follow yeah. yeah so be very intentional about the things you take in and i promise most of these things are scripted at mimi when i found out reso ilikwanga fake <laughs> <laughs> i was so annoyed at <laughs> <Because laughs> house <laughs> yeah, because, keeping up yeah. with the conditions all because we used to follow those things bees, bees. so religiously right uh, and you think oh they have beef for real and then you mm. guys you watch these things you consume them and you take them as they are you think una bebadi beef za wase mimi sio ngangi na willis jewelry tukanana na bobby na behind the scenes tuna work pamoja tumelipwa tuko tu sawa everything is okay so social media is it's you to create what you want for yourself your your for you page the page that your timeline rather anything that comes across is things that you're going to have subscribed to thought of uh googled about liked. thought about liked thought about so you you're the one who gets to create uh, your timeline for yourself so make sure you're consuming things that make you feel um actually my little brother was telling me about how uh in their age group there is this pressure to be to be seen like you have things going on now ako 24 sana shanga min ko 27 ata bado ata sija So you guys are 24 what is it that you t- you guys need to be patient with yourselves allow yourself to be kids uh live live life be present do things that make you feel good usi try to compare to the next person because you don't know first of all 
playing ground at a sea level kuna wase wananzia generational wealth na wao wananzia trauma wao na try to survive <laughs> like you're just trying to wake up in the morning <laughs> and then, but then through. they have generations and generations and yeah. gener- you cannot compare yourself to the next person someone else might win the lottery tomorrow it doesn't mean that they're better than you or that you're less because you don't have but when you start to accept yourself at the level that you're at and love yourself and choose yourself and be very comfortable with yourself vitu kaizo zikikuja kwa maisha yako hasta kushtoa sana i mean you'll be you'll be comfortable but you'll understand why it is that good things or success follows you because you you've worked for it you've put in whether it's the mental work or the emotional work you've actively and um deliberately been very very intentional about the things you choose to see or consume or put yourself around at your friends who you hang around if you're around friends who are into that fake posting mm-hmm. stuff it akupepia we pressure even if you know it's fake because how come everyone else is being seen as they were in ibiza na mimi niko tu selfie zote niko tu kwa kitanda so yeah you start thinking i need to match up to these people so be very careful about the things you are around the right. things you consume the things you allow in your space overall but uh, CJ, then what is the um, because most people normally use fake it till you make it as an excuse um number one number two people say things like which is i mean there's a place for it for dress the way you want to be addressed or you have to have a certain lifestyle so that when you appear in certain offices and places people give you a certain level of respect based on the things that they have seen on your your page uh so you know like she said you hire the the airbnb you hire the the car take several pictures i had a, a friend that <laughs> we were managing we since stopped who <laughs> <laughs> a musician who would actually the, the the one flight they would get the one gig they would get to go say to the US of course they've insisted up a technical rider business class ni nini your business class that 14 hour trip to the US will be full of wardrobe changes different poses up on there so that when akisha rudi sasa na ataka kama two months ana ana atuma picha ngine of catching another flight going to lakini yako hapo tu mta just chilling <laughs> so there is a place of this is my vision this is what i want to attain this is where i want to go mm. and so i must start living thinking being like i'm there mm. but then there is also it is what it is fake it is it fake it is fake it till you make it a worthwhile mantra on the social media streets it's not what well anywhere mm-hmm. <laughs> live alone social media right uh, <laughs> because eventually no matter how you show up you will be judged for the value that you bring and the content mm. that you bring mm-hmm. so the amount of time that you would be spending creating this image would better also be put into creating the person yes that you need mm. um zuckerberg doesn't dress up well and he's addressed well mm. yes yes <laughs> any show. country comes the president will be like are you coming to yeah, and he will show up in t-shirts yes So the reason we have to dress up in a certain way to be addressed in a certain way is because we don't have the net worth that causes us to be addressed well. Mm. Right. You have the net worth. Oh, you are a big personality on something. It doesn't matter how you show up. There are a lot of people who show up in spaces and they are respected and they listen to and they come in the most simple ways because they have value addition. So we need to work more on and well dress well dress well do everything well yeah. but put in more effort in building who you are so the body time i'm sitting with you it's not just the dress that is wowing me mm. it's not just your scent it's what you're bringing to the table your ideas your thoughts your structure your constituency so i connect with you i'm attracted to you because of how you look then i connect with you because of what you bring and when you bring much to the table i'll forget about how you look Yeah. There are some very annoying people that <laughs> the world can't do without. <laughs> you know, they keep on listening to them because those guys are offering solutions. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you have this for example, you've got this tech genius in your company and even if the guy dresses so poorly or something you need the guy there. Yeah. You need them because you're not going to run anything right, without, without them. them. <laughs> so the value that they bring overrides their outlook. So outlook is important, yes, but there needs to be something bigger. 
than the outlook. So if all you do is the superficial, you'll also meet very superficial people. Yes. You know, well, successful people can tell whether you're successful or not. Right. They don't need to dig much. They can tell. They can tell this is way beyond your league. This is not your class. They can tell. They can also tell when you're living beyond your means. If you've just started a company two years ago, um, you're talking about your turnovers. They're looking at your lifestyle. They can tell that you are way above your league. And they know that now that's the lack of wisdom mm. that you have. You're not allowing that company or that business to grow naturally into the place where you can actually have that kind of life. Mm. Probably some of them took 10 years, 15 years, 20. They know the processes and the hassles of building something. So, and they know that you cannot start at one year and then you are where they are. Mm. And even when they spend the way they spend, they have spread their wealth. They have spread their money. You see, wealth is beyond just what I have. It is also who I have. It's that my network, my systems, my structures can sustain that kind of life. So even when my account is at zero, I have Willis, who is another billionaire. I have Roberta, who is another billionaire. This is this true. These are facts. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an entire ecosystem. Right. Yeah. yeah. But it's not just because I have money in the account, so I'm trying to fit in and feel like, you know, I'm in the, the real boys club, not right. the other one. The right, right, club. right, right, right. <laughs> and you're trying to fit in there. Yeah. They can tell, and they'll feel like, look, well, it's, it's a good thing that you'd want to live this life, but grow yourself. We didn't just show up. Yeah. So grow yourself and get to that place. So sometimes, even when we are trying to fake it till we make it, people can tell that we are faking it. And so they know we will not make it at all. It's important for you to give yourself time at any time, at yeah. any stage. So do the aesthetics, dress well, look good, do the photos, but work <laughs> harder behind the scene. Yeah. Even, even those good photos. Okay, well, at least in the older days, um, photography was developed in the dark. Right. <laughs> right. It was in the dark. Yeah. You come in and you shoot them. Um, they go and take the dark room. The film. Yes, they take them into the dark room. So you have to learn how to spend time in the dark room so as to bring out this image that you want. Mm. If you're not comfortable with the dark room, you will never bring out the person that you want. You have to learn how to work in silence, build in silence, mm. grow in silence, work hard while it looks like nothing is happening in your life. Keep the discipline and stay consistent at things, even when nobody's watching, nobody's clapping, nobody's appreciating, nobody's applauding you. But you know, this is where I want to go in life and this is what I'm doing and I'm doing it for me. The problem with doing things for people is when they don't appreciate it, you stop it. Mm. If, for example, you put up this photo and you wanted to have, or this, uh, uh, you put up a caption and you, want, you thought that you would trend, then it doesn't. Do you know how that thing would work <laughs> on you? <laughs> or no likes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. put this so you begin photo somehow. and then 11 likes. Ume, una delete so many algorithms. Una post 10, 13 likes. And you begin to deal with a rejection, which is yeah. not a rejection. Yeah. Nobody rejected you, but you're perceiving that to be a rejection. So I feel that everybody needs to work for themselves, for where they want to go, for whom they want to be. And when you do that, you attract the right people towards you. And you begin to attract the kind of energy that you want as well. You begin to attract authentic people who will appreciate you no matter what level, stage or space you are in in life. So uh, it's, it's just a matter of we've got to learn how to work and grow mm. for ourselves first. And now when it comes to, again, now in the relationship and just the question that we're asking is that is, there, is that content something that can make you end the relationship? If you discover that your partner is fake or has a pseudo account <laughs> that you don't know, or let's just talk about even the content that they put out. Maybe yeah. you, you go and your partner didn't tell you, but they're a pole dancer, for example. <laughs> <laughs> yet they are, <laughs> yet when they talk to you, they, they, first of all, you ain't never seen no pole. They've never even performed for you. <laughs> but then when you go online, you realize, wow, there's a whole, at Candy 375,221 has said I do understand that it turns out to be an actual page. Uh, and you find out that, wait, who Candy is in Robata? Oh my God. <laughs> like, is, is that grounds enough for you to say, you know what? 
you, this is uh, it's uh, you you are lying in this area, and therefore let's um, yeah call it quits. Uh, while I support people's uh, lifestyles, how they feel fit, <laughs> <laughs> sex work. <laughs> but uh, uh, my point is that communication is very very important. So yes, that that is grounds right. for breakup for me. Uh, Sia ti lazima kila mtu ambiani kila kitu lakini kuna vitu ni important sana that ineza affect relationship hiyo ni kitu major cuz it it can affect how the decisions of the relationships might be made and even if it doesn't it would be nice for me to be able to know about my partner in that way maybe it won't steer me away from them maybe just so that i can be able to even support them better or so that we can just know how to navigate the relationship better together. So while I feel like uh, situations vary, people are different, uh, things can be different, but iyo patia msea kona a whole other personality. Ineza kushok, I think you're crazy because what if they're a psychopath or what if they're a serial killer or what if they they have other things going on? Because if you weren't able to trust me with something as trivial as that, how about every other thing that maybe you've never told me about? It just breaks the trust within the relationship. And this goes for whatever kind of relationship, not just romantic, even with your friend. It could be such a something that holds so much weight that it could actually affect the relationship. Maybe I'm a very staunch Christian and I cannot be in any affiliation with some things. So if you put me in a position where everyone starts judging me for something I had no clue about, that definitely affects the relationship. It's not that I care about people's opinions, but you see the position you put me at is not one where I'm able to make the decision to stay for myself. Right. Let me know what it is that is going on. Talk to me about these things. Let's just have discourse about it so that I'm able to decide, oh, that's too much for me, Amma. Okay, how do we navigate this relationship now that you're in this situation? And also, I feel like someone going out of their way to, to, to post fake things on social media, I mean, there's people who are earning from it, uh, the content creators and things like that, but I feel like kuna watu wengine wenye tuni like uh, that goes back to what you asked CJ about fake it till you make it. Right. The intention means so much because you could be faking it kubamba say, but But if you're faking it to improve yourself, to make your life better, to make yourself better, smarter, to improve yourself, there's a bit of difference. So Niki on am say personality, I can wongo. There's no credibility there. I'm, I can start to think maybe everything else they've ever said to me is also not honest. Maybe they're not an honest person with me. And I think it's weird. And like I said, I've been on both sides of the of the coin. I've been the girl who used to lie. So I know the lies. I know. <laughs> I That's know. Right. That was me. Yeah. I know how it felt to pretend. I know how it felt to lie to people and go home and you're always anxious. You're always insecure. You're always worried. Sani kishikwa. Sawa tu akiniona. Wase wakijua. Wase. And I've been the person who's accepted myself and decided, okay, wow, this is me. I can be like this. I can also do better. I can improve. So I know, and I know when I was this liar and pretender, I was a very, very insecure person. I was not confident. I had no love for myself. It's very difficult to be in, in relationships with such people because it's hard to love someone who doesn't love themselves. Imagine una try ku 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 support mtu mwenyewe mwenyewe lazima post private jet ndio society mu accept. It puts you at a very weird position because how how do you start teaching them? How do you start making them understand that they can just be comfortable in themselves. This is a solo journey that everyone has to awaken to on their own. So I'd say, for me, yes, it is grounds for a breakup, definitely, because I look at people's character, um, I look at people's behavior, because there's patterns to things. I look at how people react to things. I look at how they handle situations. And if you're the type of person who's not honest even with other people, it means you're not able to be honest with yourself and you can never be honest with me. Right. So, and and, yeah. and, 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 and we're just thinking about it is also something that, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, that you've talked about before as well. So over and above the, you know, it's, that's one phase. There's right. the fake cars, the fake, mm. but there's also, so you have a partner and there is a, 
issue, some discourse that's going on in terms of the society, whether it is, okay, let's, even, let's not even go to the Sud account, on their own personal pages, you find out how they have very divergent views <laughs> on gender-based violence, on LGBTQ, on um, uh, the advancement of women in society, on different topics, on uh, mandamano, like just different things, political or otherwise. Yeah. What, what do you do, if, especially for those who they are already in the relationship, but what they are seeing their partner talking about online and political or, or just on specific issues is is that Willis? Is that Bobby? Like, there are such strong um, views and sometimes very unpalatable. What, what do you do? You know, when you come into a relationship, one of the things you must look out for are shared values. Mm. Uh, if, if you don't have shared values, you will not have a relationship right. at all. And this is said to be true, even with organizations, Willis, that you can have the greatest skills, best staff, structures, system, strategy, all of that. If you don't have shared values, there's no way you're going. So those values will dictate the kind of views that we have. How do I look at women? How do I look at men? How do I look at the family setup? How do I view money? How do I view respect? How do I view people treating people that are not as privileged as they are? Mm. How do I look at people viewing other people who come from other ethnicities? Because when somebody has a bias towards other people, it already shows you that they have low human value. Mm. If I can hate somebody uh, strongly because they're from another ethnicity, uh, even if I and them are from the same ethnicity. It shows me how they look at people. It shows me that the prism of their, of their perception is already very skewed. And those are very strong things that people have to have conversations about, yeah. that you have to call out that and say, look, um, I know that's your space. That's your social media space. But there's this thing that you're talking about, and it's not sitting well with me. Mm. Those are things that have got to be discussed. Because there's that element, uh, Roberta was talking about, maybe you're in a relationship with somebody, then they're in things that do not represent your views. There's something called perceptive discrimination, where if I have a certain discrimination against Robata and then you associate with Robata, I begin to extend the same discrimination because I think you are one mm. with Robata. And maybe you don't even do what she does, but because you walk with her and she represents something, I begin to treat you in the same way. And if there are opportunities that Robata couldn't walk into, then you will not walk into. That's perceptive discrimination. Mm -hmm. When you are with a partner, you actually put them in that kind of a space mm -hmm. where people begin to feel uh, they are part of your thoughts, they are part of your views. Mm -hmm. Nobody represents just themselves. Mm -hmm. And so even as they go out to put up strong views, they've got to ask themselves, how does this sit with the values of my partner as well? How do this sit with the values of the rest of the people around me, mm -hmm. even beyond your partner? I mean, you'll say some stuff, Willis, and you might put your father in your a very friends. difficult place. Yeah. He can't come and defend himself. He's not on social media. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, well, your son said this. <laughs> yeah. Against what we know you to be. Yeah. It puts them in a very difficult place. There That's are certain true. things that you'll talk about and even your siblings have to keep on you know, doing disclaimers. <laughs> right, <man. laughs> the views of Willis do not represent the views of the Raburu the family. Raburu family. <laughs> Is it true that this happened to Willis? You know, yeah. So I think people need to be careful also and mindful mm. of the people that they are with. I'm in various leadership spaces and sometimes even when I want to say some things I will have some very strong views sometimes and I say look I'm thinking about the people who look up to me. Mm. I've got to think about everybody else who is around me because in certain spaces you can really develop and come up and have feelings towards certain things and it's just for that moment but even within that moment do these views sit well with everybody who is connected to you genuinely? Mm -hmm. How much more with your partner? So I think it is selfish for somebody to just have this account and they don't care how their partner uh, views whatever they say and they'll be talking about, you know, that's my space, that's my FB, that's my Twitter. Oh, <laughs> that's just me. You know, we're just having fun. 
Yeah. Watch out for what people say they do for fun. Or, or, or they say retweets are not endorsements. Watch out for right. that. Yeah. So why Watch did you retweet? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Watch out for that. I remember a gentleman that I called out one time. I said, you know, I've realized that every joke that demeans women really amuses you. Yeah. And he says, ah, you know, I have nothing against women. I said, no, you do. Yeah. You do. In your subconscious, <laughs> you do. And it's coming out. Because that's why you will always go for anything that demeans women. Yeah. And you will put it out there and you feel like, well, it's just for laughs. But you actually do have something against women. Yeah. And and Something deep-seated. It's very deep-seated. It's not in the conscious mind. It is in the sub subconscious. So even things that people will say, you know, um, we're just having fun, you know, those things do reveal yes. a lot about people. Now, if I am a man and I'm married and I have, I'm married to a woman and then I have all this deep-seated hatred for women, where does that put my wife? Mm. Yeah. How does she feel safe? in this particular space mm -hmm. and every day you know i'm just hating on women or if my wife is posting everything against men so where does that put me mm. and then at home we are coding <laughs> like you know you're a different man where does that put me and every day i'm just seeing this hate against men hate against men yeah. so i think that some of those things begin to reveal to you the inner person that that person is. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, this week I'm trying to set a record. That is to wind up, and I'm told to wind up. So we're <laughs> going to end. We will end the conversation right there. 901. This has to be a brand new record. I'm sorry to say, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I guess what we're saying in this conversation is um, just. Uh, most importantly, number one, as Bobby Olo says, communicate, but also be watchful. Uh, look at what your partner, your friends, even your parents, they're on social media, some of them, what they're posting, what they're liking, what they're sharing, what is appealing to them in terms of what makes them laugh, like CJ said, what demeaning thing makes them laugh, what they're saying, and uh, try to also check, just, you know, since you have time sometimes, check, <laughs> check what they're retweeting, check what their replies are to, what even on the thread of, like, what they like. Like you say, nye ujamana kwanga mjinga, like. Yeah, be like really take a social media audit, let's call right. it that. Yes, of your friends. And also, and also, by the way, also, as you do that, try to also look back. Just today, scroll out away because Fidiako. Look at your stories, look at the things you like, and if you see a pattern that is not necessarily who you are or who you thought you are, you might want to change that. Oh, and above that, be careful what you believe on these social media streets. Live your life, be content. CJ says the best place to be is not necessarily at him above. Vuka tax bracket. It is I've dealt so much with myself that I'm no longer insecure and easy with Navanya. It don't phase me. I'm easy. I'm peasy. I'm lemon squeezy. I had to say that. All right, thank you so much. Be authentic. That is the word yeah. that I leave you with. Peace and love. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh